hello friends welcome to the lab text my name is Nasser and uh, today we have a very crap laptop that is that as Asus tough uh, in fact uh, I don't uh, uh, you know prefer to repair AMD because usually we see that uh, AMD is failed to give display because of uh, CPU failure that is why this is not my favorite laptop my favorite laptop is uh, Intel okay there are the lots of possibility that you can repair the motherboard at least and uh, I have lots of Intel motherboard like 11 generation 12 generation here I have uh, the new Acer 515 this is the 11 generation and just I have repaired it uh, I really love to repair first uh, Intel motherboard at last I found that uh, the guy who sent it to me he also repaired the motherboard and uh, uh, he got this laptop from the customer and uh, for the um, for the heatsink paste and something for the cooling purpose so by mistake uh, uh, a teaser occur on the motherboard and uh, few components missed on this place and uh, the display gone okay so I really don't know what is uh, status of this motherboard and uh, first time I am going to repair the this model particularly I have repaired lots of rogue okay but uh, not this model first time I have received it uh, DA0NJFMBAD0 I think uh, you might have got this motherboard as of now very latest and new uh, second generation that second generation in the matter of uh, that uh, what to say in in the in the schematic it is written uh, OVP uh, second generation I don't know what is that so here everything is working fine but as soon as I turn on the same place start heating up and I was trying to find out in the schematic and I am not getting any clue let me show you this area okay so first of all uh, you have seen this motherboard entire motherboard it's very bulky and very big so uh, first of all let me show you the scenario uh, as soon as I turn on this I see heats up lot and uh, CPU heats up quite enough but no GPU no G GPU does not heat up as it is required to heat up okay cathostopic uh, heat is required in order to operate okay proc hot GPU hot this type of things must be uh, there now let me unlock it turn on okay so you pay attention on the power supply see one ampere is the load and uh, yes it is heating up gradually it is it started heating up gradually so I think most of the load is taken by this IC only and little bit uh, processor also the AMD processor is there I don't know uh, what is the model and what is that so now let me zoom it what is that guy he has tried uh, he said me that I don't have this IC that is why uh, let me shift so as he said me that uh, what I have done here he said me that there are the, some few components are missing there I just jumped this those areas see here so user could do anything now you can see here that uh, this area this area this area was uh, uh, register missing and I saw the schematic and the board view is the very uh, not good enough but uh, in the PDF form that is why I get trouble to find out where is the location and what is the num name and uh, number of the register let me show you uh, here I have each and everything uh, photo I have so but photo uh, is not giving me a good clarity okay maybe this one this one or this one I used here but uh, as soon as I see the schematic a uh, board view see the board view what is the number written uh, no no 
you have no clue at all so in such scenario uh, the best thing that you just open the schematic and count the pin and check what you are having on this area this is the schematic and this is the IC and the I count the pin like let me show you once again let me count the pin so like that 8 9 10 11 11 number 11 number uh, what is missing here I check the voltage and I matched it and uh, I got breakthrough to fit all those things okay as uh, you can see here 11 number pin has a zero ohm register that is why I pull a jump uh, I solder a jumper wire across this area this area is the empty so that is why I am not using anything so I matched it only connectivity and I soldered it that's it before soldering the condition was the same and after soldering the condition is still same so now tell me NCP 45495 what is that and OVRM generation 2 that is the new type of technology and uh, really I am making this video only to show you that uh, if you really understand uh, to uh, read the schematic read the da data sheet like the new IC new charging IC is coming like uh, in in this model I have the new charging IC and uh, you need to understand what is the concept of the charging IC what is uh, how you have to calculate the AC direct voltage and how you have to calculate ILIM voltage there are the lots of pin there are the so many uh, comparator inside the charging IC you need to understand each and everything Th then only you will be able to rectify the problem going through the route okay otherwise it will be quite difficult you will keep on hit and try on the motherboard and you just bake the motherboard so this uh, video I am making only to ensure you that uh, you need to understand the concept of uh, reading the schematic uh, this is first time I have seen this type of IC I have never uh, gone through such IC even I uh, I'm damn sure about it you might not have gone through this IC because uh, I first time I got this type of problem usually there are the different types of problem I have got it is dead uh, there are the CPU short there are the BG is not working and uh, graphic is not taking there are so many problems but this is the first problem I have faced so NCP 454495 uh, uh, this IC you have to tell me the role okay comment me on the comment box that uh, what is the role however if you open the data sheet you will find that this is a muxing IC okay also uh, this is the sunt the kind of sunt you know what is the sunt sunt is a electrical element that uh, that generates a low amount of register in order to pass current okay so it converts voltage into signal this is the role of this IC okay if I am not right you just comment me on the comment box as long as I have gone through this schematic so let me uh, introduce you this is the schematic there are the one more crucial uh, keep on watching this video till the end because uh, you will uh, be really surprised that uh, most of the people who think that the GPU is short uh, while he gets the zero ohm or something like that but remember me as long as I have repaired more than uh, you know 500 and around four to five hundred I have repaired the gaming laptops and I found there not even till one ohm I haven't got any lots of motherboard I have seen the display but I'm uh, I'm not experienced to get one ohm even on the GPU coil so be sure that whenever you are going to check and going to judge that you are telling to your customer that your GPU is faulty because it is short so you might be the wrong because uh, I have seen mm, the last I have seen here the 0 0.17 ohm is right last time I have seen 
zero point in Intel motherboard zero point five seven or zero point five zero zero point five zero is the right. So I was very surprised the first time when I saw this thing. Okay, I usually uh, you know make a master to my OK laptop, OK motherboard. So I uh, take the reference from the OK motherboards. That is why I'm telling you that uh, you must check after uh, rectifying the problems you start checking and take a reference uh, for your future that this is uh, what I am getting in my OK laptop okay because nowadays uh, it is very surprising if you tell me uh, in, in any any IC you find a zero ohm you will quickly say that it is wrong or it is short but let me show you what ohm you are going to get here on the GPU but GPU is alright believe me and uh, I really don't think that uh, I will get this IC anywhere see I use I was getting 17 around 0 0 0 point 2 what will you say let let me check it ground to ground okay let me check uh, le let me show you let me sh show this okay come on now see here from ground to the GPU coil here is the core coil there are the lots of coil here this is GPU coil as per the schematic GPU is giving me 0 0.2 ohm okay inside the heatsink I not I heatsink is not touched and I'm checking the ground to ground 0 0.1 0 0.2 <laughs> so believe me this is good I have seen here 0 0.75 millivolt you are going to get here 0 0.75 millivolt around so nowadays this is the scenario of the GPU it is reduced to the last limitation of the so uh, the better option you have the milli ohm meter instead of the normal multimeter okay so milli ohm meter will give you the milli ohm reference nowadays the milli ohm is coming on the GPU okay so that is why you never be confused to check this uh, type of GPU shorting with the help of normal multimeter that you you just search on the Google uh, that uh, what is the milli ohm meter uh, probe you are going to get uh, with the CMOS cell and uh, you can check very easily e even 10 milliohm at uh, 5 milliohm 1 milliohm you are going to get in many areas like uh, sensing register you can never notice that it is the 0 ohm or 10 milliohm but with the help of milliohm meter you are going to confirm it that uh, your milliohm is giving the right value 10 milliohm sensing register so the same way the as you think that because I have see, uh, seen I have received lots of uh, motherboards from across my country and uh, they complain that the GPU is short but I know that this is not short as he is saying he shows the customer that it is short so he tells me he confessed me that I have checked the CPU is short uh, sorry GPU is short and uh, should I send it to you to you or not so I say him that okay send it to me why because I know that the GPU is not short okay I don't know that uh, what is the process of shorting maybe uh, uh, quite zero I, I will start getting but as of now I haven't seen the GPU is short because it is already shorted <laughs> in order to get uh, the uh, the duty off duty cycle is much more 99% uh, is the off duty cycle and 1% is the uh, positive duty cycle that is why uh, it is reduced to the milli ohm okay so that is that was the very crucial information I am giving to you now uh, let's come back to the case study so the display I am not getting here okay the display I am not getting the the same thing is happening it is hitting up again and again and uh, let me show you the schematic of this what it is telling this is the 26 volt 4 channel voltage bus 
and four channel high side current uh, sunt monitor you know as i told you what is the sunt monitor sunt is nothing that uh, uh, allows electro uh, the components to 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 give the low register value in order to monitor the voltage into current the kind of uh, you can say the kind of uh, the op amp the kind of op amp which controls current instead of voltage like that this is the sunt okay so if you have repaired apple there are the sensor sensing uh, registers there are the lots of sensing register like uh, ppg3 hot sensing register pp uh, win register there are so many registers are there in the motherboard and uh, you just check those things if uh, anything is mi misbehaving the laptop might is working slow the same process is there so i really don't know what would be effect but i don't have this ic what i'm going to do here there you can see here that uh, what i'm going to do here i'm going to throw it okay o v r m i think over voltage memory memory type of uh, sun ic okay so let me remove it because uh, this is heating up i have no option i have read carefully all the data sheet and i understood that this is nothing but a monitoring ic that is the translator ic translating voltage into the signal bus and that is having information only it is doing nothing except keeping the information of the signals okay i just don't want this type of bank like you have the money in the bank but you if you don't want to keep the money in the bank you just keep it in your home okay like that now back to the pavilion now okay so uh, let the uh, let the jumper there and i am not going to change that uh, see once again uh, the the total load now because i may not be able to show you the display because it is left in my office okay this is my home setup and i have no idea loads of press pressure on my shoulder why because i am only the guy who has to teach online offline and as well as i have to repair the customers motherboard also that is why this is my humble request to all of you those who calls me and i cannot pick up you just don't abuse me okay uh, rather you just text me on the whatsapp inshallah as soon as i will get time because uh, whole day long i keep on teaching okay even i cannot work in my office that is why it's three o'clock in the morning and i'm still working now what i am doing i'm trying to turn on yes it is turned on and now you see the load merely one ampere is the total load no fluctuation ram is there still no display it's heating up too much so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove if any any time you get uh, this ic is heating up don't afraid okay this is nothing a kind of a memory sun ic and uh, um, muxing ic you can say so muxing is the something which uh, give the uh, you know connectivity uh, gpu to the intel but this is not a, a really a muxing ic inside there is a muxing uh, for the current only okay high voltage into a signal path 45495 ncp on is the company and i am also telling to the guy who has sent sent it to me that uh, be careful while opening uh, the laptop because the battery is there and you are going to touch the tweezer on the motherboard and this is a very costly motherboard nowadays so that is why this is my request to all of you to open it very carefully 
however i do not get chance to op open the motherboard because i uh, receive bare motherboard from the customer now the story is ended the jumper is as it is okay there are the three jump uh, jumper uh, wire i have fixed here one two three because as there was a marking the customer said me these area uh, component seems missing something i saw the photo i matched it with the schematic with the board view board view is not clear uh, it's not telling me uh, the truth that what is the component is there but i found uh, across the schematic that it is a uh, zero ohm register that is why i put it i thought that might be some like uh, in some ic's why i was using before uh, removing this ic i used it because i have very good experience of 3.3 uh, and 5 volt regulator that if you remove uh, btst capacitor only btst capacitor only your 3.3 and 5 volt will start burning heating up lot you will experience if you just check it in your any motherboard wherever there is no display if you have got it dead and you just turn on and it's not giving you display for uh, research purpose i'm telling you i have experienced a very good experience of this type of problem 3.3 and 5 volt keep on hitting unless you use a btst capacitor that is why i'm telling you the capacitor is rather uh, essential part than register in some of the places like UART wherever the UART is used uh, for the communication of like uh, HDD and uh, any lots of communication C type of communication if there is a no UART communication established it does not work okay so between the UART communication you will always find a, a coupling capacitor the the role of the coupling capacitor is the rather important than the coil and capacitor uh, coil and resistor so this is the very little bit exp experience i am sharing to you now let me turn on okay okay i pay attention there not turning come on turn on yes see ampere okay restarted oh come on USB on the DSO come on not yet not yet yes successfully connected to your computer so I hope that uh, I will get no problem at all this was the first experience I am ge uh, getting with this uh, rogue Asus rogue laptop what type of name in Hindi it is called uh, type of disease okay rogue <laughs> so a kind of disease so I think AMD is the disease nothing else <laughs> so uh, I, this is normal now the customer uh, it has become albatross around the neck okay he wanted me only to give the display show the display to the customer and back it to anyhow because it is very costly motherboard he cannot afford maybe so and no one it's really tough job to to bear a motherboard if you have only got for the repairing so it is a very difficult task for any repairer so i think uh, to in, in fact uh, all types i have received the entire motherboard and uh, i will pack it and i will check each and everything but as long as i am sure that uh, this is 
nothing more than a translator IC translating the voltage into current everything is working and now one more thing I would like to show you that what voltage you are going to get where you have got the zero ohm okay now that is the very important point so here is the point I have checked now let me once again confirm what ohm you are going to get 0 0.2 okay this is the point I am checking now you check here also what ohm you are going to get this is the coil and this is the capacitor 0 0.2 A remember ever forever that you cannot say it short because I have shown you the display here now I am going to turn on the motherboard and meanwhile I will show you the voltage also sorry yes it is turned on set me on the voltage mode now check the voltage you are getting 0 0.2 0 0.2 ohm restarted again 74 milli voltage to 80 milli voltage you are going to get here so that is why I am telling you that never give the quick judgment that your GPU is short GPU is nowadays the same value as I told you 0 0.2 that is the 2 milli ohm you can call it 2 milli ohm okay hopefully guys that you have enjoyed this video and you have liked it if you really liked it you share this video and uh, if you want uh, to join our course then you just text me on the uh, whatsapp number and we will send you the detail of the course and the, the how you can uh, get that you how can you join that course and also there are the group support uh, through the whatsapp there are the lots of guy across the world and uh, inshallah we will uh, see you with the next case study and uh, you keep on loving us okay goodbye thank you